Throughout my years in uni, I went from studying 10 hours a day to studying 2 to 3 hours a day. However, I went from getting these results to getting these results. And today I'm going to sprinkle some of my studied knowledge onto you so you can get these results too. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about studying. Now I've tried heaps of different studying techniques but none of them ever worked for me personally and I had to find my own ways to study effectively and today I'm going to share those with you. Sacrificing my notes was essential for me to excel. As much as I love pretty notes and taking them and highlighters, I had to make the heartbreaking decision to stop spending hours on end taking notes and spending that time instead doing practice questions from exams. Now, one thing that I've seen a lot of my peers do is write down the en entire history of an equation or a derivation of an equation when all you want is that one main piece of information or that one golden equation that you can apply everywhere in your course. In physics or chemistry, your teacher isn't going to ask you about what Newton's life was like growing up or how his brain worked. They are going to ask you to apply his laws to solve problems. Okay, now I understand that was a very exaggerated example, but you get the gist of it. This is where the 80-20 rule comes into play. So 80% of the content you learn, such as the history of things or the derivation of things, that will lead to 20% of the results. Whereas 20% of the content you learn, such as significant information or main equations that will lead to 80 percent of the results now a lot of you may be wondering where does that 20 percent of content come from how do you focus on that 20 percent of content now you can focus on this 20 percent by looking at topic questions exam papers and questions that the teacher may provide you with in math or problem-based sciences, these are the holy grail for me. They are the be-all or end-all of my progress because as many notes as you have taken, it doesn't teach you how to answer the questions, which is why taking notes about the 80% of things will only lead to the 20% of results because you're not focusing on the right things. Now, this is where the big chunk of my studying goes towards, where I focus on past exam papers and topic tests, and I also have a five-step routine on how I undergo these topic tests, which I will explain now. So, step one is attempt the question without any help, just using your notes slash bound reference. This will show you how effective your note-taking skills were and how effective your bound reference is, depending on whether or not you're allowed to have a bound reference. Step two, if you got it right, that's great. Compare how you solved it to how the solution solved it because sometimes teachers will mark you based on how you solved it. And in some cases, they might mark you wrong if you solved it the wrong way. Like they might give you half the marks. So this usually happens in high school, not so much uni, but just to make sure you should check the solutions to see how they solved it and try to understand how they solved it. Step three, if you get it wrong, repeat the question with the aid of the solutions. If there's a part of the question you're not sure about, consolidate the solutions. And if you're not sure about the solutions either, I recommend you talk to your teacher or something like that. And any important key parts of information that you may have missed or haven't noted before, jot them down because there is a high there is a chance that you might get it on the exam and step four is to come back in a few days or before your exam or test and repeat the question without any help at all now the final step if you got it right congratulations you've retained the information if you got it wrong on the other hand compared to how you got it wrong in the first place or right in the first place what did you do differently basically if you still can't understand the question completely, consolidate your teacher or go find other similar questions from, I don't know, past topic tests or ask your teacher for more questions and do those first and then come back to this one. And from here on out, it's basically just a rinse and repeat process. Start back at step one, go back to step five. On to the next part. Now, with breaks. See, this is where my stereotypical 
Asianism starts to come in. The thing is, I don't take breaks. Now, a lot of you are going to say, Oh my god, that's so bad for you. You, should, you shouldn't be doing that. You're not going to be able to focus properly. Shut up, Sally. Look, with my attention span, taking a 15 minute study break from a 45 minute studying session will end up in me taking a longer than 15 minute break. It could go to an hour, it could go to two hours, or even the rest of the day. And I end up falling asleep, feeling guilty about the fact that I didn't study at all that day, which is why I don't take breaks. Look, I much prefer the idea of getting things done in one chunk, which then means I get to spend the rest of the day doing whatever the hell I want. I usually spend about two to three hours studying a day, like for example, I spend one hour on math, one hour on chemistry, or I spend one hour on chemistry, one hour on blah, and one hour on other blah. But now that I'm saying this, I do realize that I do kind of take breaks. Like between each one hour session, I usually spend like five to ten minutes away from my desk, either grabbing a drink or making a little snack or going to the bathroom, etc. Um, but it is definitely less break time compared to what people would usually recommend um, but it's it's what works for me and I'm sure most people who are like me that have a short attention span to certain things taking any longer than a five minute break will usually make me forget that I was studying in the first place now I understand that this video may not 100% apply to every major such as memory based majors like biology and psychology um, but there are still certain key points that you can take away from this, I guess, such as the 80-20 rule and also the fact that you can't, you shouldn't focus on one thing for too long, otherwise your brain will die. Not literally, of course. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I hope this video helped you guys in some way and maybe you could try out a few techniques or even that five-step routine in studying for exams and stuff like that. I do plan on releasing another video based off my study throughout the semester or the week or studying the week before an exam and stuff like that. But yeah, let, most importantly, let me know what you guys want to see from me as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, look at my socials and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!